Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture for English 2090 online. What I want to clarify is the idea of theme, because based on a lot of people's homework assignments and responses, whether discussion board or whatever, it seems like there's a little bit of confusion. A lot of times people are conflating theme and tone, theme and motif, theme and image and conflict and so forth. So let's really kind of focus on what means right and what are we doing always finding the meaning right in literature and film so let's obviously kind of focus on the term itself right theme is a central concept of the narrative you know story right narrative is just a kind of academic word for story it can be a moral lesson it could be a cultural message a philosophy or any specific idea and that's going to be the crucial definition right it's an idea because a lot of people are confusing subject topic with theme as well and we'll look at that in a moment so themes can be divided into two categories a work's thematic concept is what readers think the work is about or the work's purpose right what is the purpose of Macbeth what is Macbeth about not plot wise but theme wise what's the concept the thematic statement Pretty much being what ideas the work conveys about the subject so th always think in terms of larger concepts and that's crucial in terms of pinpointing what a theme is some works convey themes directly through narrative lines or dialogue others don't right others do it more indirectly and that's where subtext comes in from that first lecture they are making connections between characters plot points whether subplots or regular plot points conflicts and setting so the theme can be derived from elements or it can be directly stated in dialogue or narrative line right from any kind of omniscient narrator or so forth so it just depends right now again another confusion i see is topics and subjects versus themes right themes are not topics or subjects completely different ideas so subjects are what the author has chosen to write about or what the director has chosen to focus on for example macbeth is about a warrior right who kills his king we could just summarize the topic right it's about a man who creates life right that's the subject of the work right not the theme right these aren't themes these are just subjects topics right there is no meaning here right because it's just what we're essentially talking from plot point topic point subject point what is it about well it's about this but what's it really about and that's what we're getting at when we're talking about theme so themes are never one word or just even a topic word so for example ambition that's not a theme love hate and i'm pulling all these from your homework responses right or discussion board responses and so forth guilt isn't a theme fear isn't a theme it's an emotion war science good versus evil right again good versus evil is a topic it's not a theme what about right what kind of lessons are we supposed to learn and so forth so that's the kind of key issue themes are always complete ideas they are specific statements now to help analyze themes right think about what ideas about these topics right or subjects the author is trying to convey so what idea about ambition right what idea about love right is shakespeare trying to convey through macbeth right what ideas is you know kira sour trying to discuss that are a little bit differently with Shakespeare's focus on good versus evil again what ideas so that's the kind of crucial concept so themes will look like this right so Macbeth great ambition or inordinate lust for power right ultimately bling brings ruin right that's a theme because it's a specific concept related to ambition same thing I think a couple of people put like reality versus illusion or reality versus um I forget what the a couple of specific uh, lines were, but it was like reality versus perception, right? That's again a topic. That's not a theme. All things are not as they appear. Now we're getting to theme, right? So what do you mean by that? What is the meaning, right? Same thing with Frankenstein, right? We could focus on specific themes, right? Isolation is not a theme, but the novel Frankenstein presents isolation from family and society as the worst imaginable fate, right? And the cause of hatred, violence, and revenge, and blah, 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 right? That's a theme, right? So those are kind of important aspects, right, to think about when you're looking at theme. 
notice with these sentences, right, they are very long. Theme f analytical points should be a full complex idea. So again, you really want to be thinking more in terms of ideas. Now, a couple of people were somewhat thinking about motifs. And motifs are related to theme because in music, right, that's what we're talking about. But in literature and film, motifs are a little bit different. So in a literary or cinematic work, a motif can be an image, sound, action, another aspect that has any kind of symbolic significance. Now, it contributes toward the development of a theme, but it is not the theme. So, for example, I was hearing like gore. Well, again, that's a tone, an image, right? So, in a literary or cinematic piece, a motif is a recurring image, idea, symbol that develops or establishes a theme. While again, a theme is a central idea or message. So let's just look at Macbeth. What's a motif? Right, blood, right? Yeah, yes, gore is a motif. It's a tone, right? Blood is a specific image, but it's not a theme, right? Because blood is not a concept, right? It's just an object. Now, can it create a theme? Yes, because it could symbolize something. Once you say blood symbolizes the guilt, blah, 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 well, now you're starting to talk about theme, right? And again, it, does it reoccur? Yes, look at all the ways that blood reoccurs as a motif, right? So motifs, right, in music are a little bit different because themes and motifs can kind of be synonymous, right? But when we talk about literature and cinema, motifs are images, again, actions, what have you, right? They're, they're audible or visible, but they could symbolize something. And that's when we start to look at the theme, right? The blood symbolizes the violence of war in order to convey how dangerous or how, you know, just uh, I'm trying to think of a couple ideas here that I, uh, yeah, you were kind of pinpointing, right? How um, inescapable death is, right? So all these things could focus to build a theme, but they themselves are not, right? So easy solution if all else fails. When you think about theme, think about lesson. What is the author trying to teach me? What is the author trying to teach me about ambition? What is the author trying to teach me about, you know, love or lust and so forth, right? These are what is, you know, Mary Shelley trying to teach me about science, right? All these things could be ways that you can help build your ideas to what a theme is and again some people will get stuck because it is it's a higher concept right we're talking we're not talking about you know easy ideas we're talking about higher concepts so if all else fails just ask yourself what is this novel trying to teach me what is this author trying to teach me with this character what is the author trying to teach me about doing that and so forth Typically, themes involve some statement about the human condition or society. That's usually where we're going to go, right? They're going to make some kind of statement about the human condition. They're going to make some kind of statement about society. So think about what those statements are, right? How is the work trying to convey some kind of statement about humanity or society? Right? fills, just go back to that and you'll have a stronger kind of idea the more you work with what themes are. Obviously, if you have any questions, always keep emailing, stop by the office. If not, just go look with all the assignments and take care.